And welcome here to ABC Action News at 5.30, everyone. I'm Paul Legrone coming to you live tonight from Midtown Tampa. If you've driven by here on Dale Mabry, you've noticed just how fast this development went up. It's got a new Whole Foods, a Shake Shack, and a new sports restaurant founded by quarterback Drew Brees. So, Tom Brady, if you're listening, you've got some competition. But Midtown is really symbolic of the investor enthusiasm that has been building here in Tampa really for several years. And it's only grown more intense during the pandemic. So, all new here tonight. We're putting a spotlight on the busy real estate market here in Tampa Bay with in-depth reporting on the new construction and the future. But first, we begin here tonight with what it really takes to buy a home these days in Tampa Bay. Over a year into the pandemic, the housing market has never been hotter. As more people are escaping higher taxes and tighter COVID-19 restrictions, they're moving down here to the Sunshine State where the water's always warm and the cost of living low. Tampa Bay. Homes are selling incredibly quickly. And it's no wonder the bay, the beaches, the weather, and a low-stress lifestyle during this high-stress pandemic. What are you seeing out there right now? It's a little bit crazy and daunting. Sarah Clark with My Tampa Agent Team works with buyers of all budgets. She says the market is so hot in Tampa right now, gone are the days when house hunters had time to negotiate, let alone sleep on an offer and think it over. We're talking days, hours, sometimes even minutes. Typically what we're seeing is a home will come on the market Thursday or Friday. We'll have showings and or an open house through the weekend. And by Sunday night, you've got multiple offers. So typically you're looking at a property in the morning and you've got to make an offer in a few hours, if not, you know, on the spot sometimes. The competition is so fierce, some people are skipping inspections and buying property sight unseen. So what's driving this housing boom? We are seeing a massive influx of cash buyers, particularly from other markets out of state. Um, which is in turn driving up our prices at an incredible rate. This is probably the most popular room in the house then, right? Uh, Where the food that is, is correct. <laughs> For sellers like Randy Rintz, the hot market is both an opportunity and a challenge. The difficult thing is it's great to sell when the market is going up and it's high, but you also have to at the same time buy. We always see these cycles in real estate and I think we're in a bubble right now 100%. Tampa real estate agent Vincent Arcuri is one of the most well-known agents in Tampa. What comes up must come down. He's seen it all from the bus to the boom. What we're seeing is a mass movement here from the north where people are selling their houses at astronomical prices up north and they've got disposable income, if you will, uh, prepared to buy a home in Florida and outbid the locals. The crush of cash buyers from out of state now pushing local families to the sidelines. James and Cassie Jones are pre-approved and ready to buy, but they don't trust a market where everything feels so rushed. What have you guys been seeing as you've been house hunting? Being approved to buy a home is just really tough right now knowing what you're getting yourself into. It's just pretty much a free fall on people purchasing homes. And they're now feeling it on both ends because rent prices are also going up in Tampa Bay. According to Realtor.com, the median rent has increased 6.9% compared to this time last year at the beginning of the pandemic. You can't move yourself up because prices are so high right now with renting or buying. So how do you navigate through these fast times in Florida? Well, if you're buying... You need to make sure that you're well represented. You have to be receiving proper guidance right now. And if you're selling. The strategy for a seller is to price the home as high as you possibly can. And what we're doing is just getting the maximum a number that a home comps out at. And then we just list it at that and let the bidding wars begin and, and watch people outbid each other. And if you're on the fence, take a time out, but don't give up. Really what we've experienced so far that right now it's not a time to buy. We would be better off holding off and waiting waiting that's a tough call and if you don't want to wait how do you compete at a cash market with buyers willing to pay more at least on paper well here are a couple of things that you definitely want to consider in your strategy get all that loan process information get that done ahead of time go in there to an open house knowing that you're not only pre-approved but you can close the deal fast if you're pre-approved you're ready to move on it right now and you can close faster than the person who's claiming they've got the cash, but they need a few days to put it all together. The seller may not want to deal with all of that and may accept your offer instead. Bottom line here, speed in this market sells and buys.